But let's just take a look here on, on YouTube. This is public domain, so no one can scream like a bitch about copyright. This is on the public domain. So here it is. This is, um, uh, if you type in David Dyke, Son of God, you'll, you'll find all of these uh, videos coming up about the Wogan Show. Um, and there's one here on the Wogan Show. Now just watch, watch this, what uh, David Dyke said, because I know some of you don't seem to know this. Here we go, and I'll just zoom in for you. Let me get the story right. The press claim that you claim to be the son of God. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that so it's, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. Let me get the story right. The press claim that you claim to be the son of God. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, you see, the thing is that so it's, it's, quite, it's quite funny, really. Um, okay, there we go. So there's an admission directly from David Icke that he thinks he's the Son of God, which means that he's Jesus Christ, which means he's God Almighty, because God the Father has given all of his power to Jesus Christ. Okay, so here he has said that he's confirming that he's the Son of God, and he has never uh, uh, renounced what he has said or apologised for making such a blasphemous statement, because... You know, the, the, the pinnacle of blasphemy um, is to claim to be God himself. And this here is blasphemy. The word blasphemy is Greek. It's it, it, vlastimas. That means like you are, you are cursing, you are being abusive. And by claiming to be God, you are cursing and being abusive. You're claiming to be the almighty creator himself because all was created through Jesus Christ. So if you're a Christian and you're listening to this man, um, you are listening to a false messiah until the day that he comes forward and renounces what he said. And there is no excuse to continue listening if you claim to be a Christian because Jesus said that many shall come in my name and deceive many. Let's just listen to the rest of this uh, ridiculous um, waffle here. I'll just press go. You know, 2,000 years ago, had a guy called Jesus sat here and said these same things, you would still be laughing. It's really, really funny that we've not really moved on that much. Okay, so now he's now talking in the third person. Firstly, he claims to be the son of God there. He, he confirms that that's what his belief is. Um, and then secondly, he talks in the third person, saying that, you know, if Jesus Christ had sat there 2,000 years ago, you would be doing the same thing. What kind of a convolution of a conversation is that? Okay, on the one hand, claiming to be Jesus Christ, and on the other, speaking about Jesus Christ in the third person. Are really talking in the fourth person now? I am really going to put this down now, okay? If... David Icke came and said to you that he was Napoleon Bonaparte, and I'm talking to you people out there who think that you are intelligent and have a mind given to you by God. If he came and told you that he was Napoleon Bonaparte, what would you have done? Would you have started listening to him from that day on? Would you? You'd have gone, this guy's a nutter. But to claim that he is God himself, sitting in a tracksuit on the Wogan show, being laughed at, yeah, okay, he can do that. And then he, he, can, he can make some kind of odd connection about if Jesus Christ had sat there 2,000 years ago. He just claimed to be Jesus Christ. He just claimed to be the Son of God. The Son of God is Jesus Christ. Okay, put that to bed, people. If you are a Christian, okay, you believe in God, or you have any uh, sense in your head, and if you're an atheist, and you would say that you don't believe in God, this guy's claimed to be God, why are you listening to him? Christians, this guy's claimed to be Jesus Christ, the Son of God, why are you listening to him? Anyone out there with two particles of a brain inside their head, even if it's just bouncing around in there, can't you understand that um, this guy has claimed to be God, and you're listening to him? You know the word jackass comes to mind here. You know, I, I, I just, I am just astonished that yeah, everyone seems to have forgotten this. I know some people didn't know about this, but you know about it now. You can just type it in, into into um, uh, YouTube. David Dyke, Son of God. There it is. Stuff on the Wogan Show. That's what he said. Look at the behaviour of the people supporting him as well on my blogs. It's just not acceptable, is it? No. Um, here he is, the man who claimed to be the son of God, and you've heard it for yourselves now. 
um, talking about testicles and calling people prats, etc. I know who the prat is, and it's not me. You know, um, the, this guy needs to um, renounce what he said. You know, he really does. He needs to renounce that. But I don't think he will. So, once again, David Icke, are you Jesus Christ? Do you still think that you're Jesus Christ? Uh, two, are you Freemason? Three, are you Illuminati? Four, do you worship Helios, also known as Apollyon? The beast from the pit from the book of Revelation. It's yes or no. Oh, one more thing. Do you want to have a debate with me, or do I hear clucking? Because I think I can hear a whole chicken coop going at it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to sing you a song. And uh, it's because I found this website here. And it's called um, Is David Ike the Sion of John D. Rockefeller Jr.? And here we see John D. Rockefeller Jr. And here we see David Ike. So I just want to sing you a song. I want to dedicate the song to David Ike. You're off your Rockefeller. You're off your Rockefeller. You're off your Rockefeller. You're Rockefeller. You're off your Rockefeller. You're off your Rockefeller. You're off your Rockefeller. You're off your Rockefeller. If you are Jesus Christ, then I am Cinderella.